Hey, what's going on, Testifiers all over the world? This is your boy, Testify to the Music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, bringing you a new Testify Talks. And today, I'm going to be talking about movie reviewers and how essentially movie reviewers change my life and my perspective of watching films and pretty much jumping straight into it. I can honestly say that movie reviewing um, and movie reviewers have changed my complete outlook on when it comes to film. When I first started watching movies, of course, I was a child. I just did it simply for the the thrill of it. Same um, with horror movies. If you guys know me, I'm a big horror movie guy. Uh, I was just watching horror movies just to watch horror movies. Um, I didn't really try to get into the inner workings of you know what's going on behind the scenes or you know dwelling into what the film is actually trying to say the different types of symbolism the camera shots uh different panning shots all these things that go into making a film great you know i had kind of didn't have a, essentially a great respect for it and so you know kind of early last year when i really started getting into youtubing um I had subscribed to this channel called Collider Movie Talk, and pretty much what they do is they just talk about movies all day, every day, and so I watched one episode, and after that, I was hooked. I kept coming back every day, you know, learning more and more about different movies, um, the latest in movie news, to the point where now I can actually talk to my friends and family members and let them know about when certain things are coming out. Because, you know, I have the information that they have now. It's not necessarily something that I broke, but I'm bringing news to my family and to my friends. And so then that led into me doing movie reviews uh, in general on YouTube. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do a lot of movie reviews on here. Um, I try to do some independent films, but I mostly end up hitting the, the bigger uh, blockbuster movies. Um, but I will be trying to do more independent-based films. Uh, I've watched a couple um, and I'm probably just going to review them all at once because some of them weren't that great. Some of them were good, but, you know, that that's how it goes. And so movie reviewing just essentially just kind of changed my outlook on the theater going experience and how I watch and perceive a movie. And it helps me, you know, determine whether or not I like a, truly like the film or I'm just, you know, nostalgic for the film. And then along with that, you know, there are some other things going with movie reviewing that kind of changed my, my life and my perspective. For you guys who don't know, um, I was an, an addict for the longest time. I was a porn addict, and I, I was addicted to pornography for the longest time. And I remember I went on a fast um, in January. I went on a fast uh, with our local church uh, that I go to. And what we did is we essentially just prayed and fasted. Um, you didn't eat certain things. You mostly just drank water and fruit juices, depending on which one you were on. I actually did a video on what is praying or fasting. I'll make sure I put a link to that in the description. Uh, and i also make sure I try to annotate it at the end of the video as well. So what I did is uh, when my fast was over with, I still felt that urge. Um, but by that time, you know, I was really into Collider Movie Talk, and I was really into, you know, the early stages of starting to review films, because um, I remember the first movie that I think I reviewed um, was actually Deadpool, and it wasn't that great. If you go and check it out, it's just pretty much me spending 30 minutes uh, trying to tell you what I experienced and what I saw on screen, and I didn't do a very good job of it, plus I got a copyright strike on that. Um, uh, fair use wasn't necessarily a, a good thing um, on that video, um, so it got a copyright strike on top of that. Uh, as I kept reviewing more and more films, what it did is essentially it distracted me from the addiction that I had because a lot of times when I would pray and fast, it would work for, let's say, maybe about a month, and then after that, I would be jump straight back into it. Well, I'm happy to say that I haven't had the thought to do that pretty much I've, I think I may have had it twice uh, since I stopped the last uh, month in in January. The last month in January, um, and I have I've had like maybe one or two like thoughts about it, but have never acted on it. Um, so now, movie reviewing essentially what it did is it distracted my mind from the problem that I had. Um, you know, again, 
it was all God. I can honestly say it was all God here. Um, he did it. He's the one who put movie reviews in front of me. Um, he's the one who put Collider Movie Talk in my path because I stumbled across them by accident. Um, I, I forget how I stumbled across them on YouTube, but I remember I was doing something. Um, I was just getting into YouTube, and then I remember something that they were doing just kind of resonated with me, and it popped up. And I remember watching it and getting hooked to it. But ultimately, God, he did it. He's the one, you know, who, who helped me overcome my addiction to pornography. But I, I can say that he used movie reviewing and, and general YouTubing as a way for me to have a new outlook and a way for me to distract my mind from things because I, my music was doing that. But after a while, when I went on my, my hiatus, um, because I wasn't living the godly life that I said that I was in my music. When I went on my hiatus, I had nothing there to distract my mind. So it was like the devil's playground. So he's like, oh, I have a lot of time now to mess with you and to plague on your, your innermost workings uh, and your doubt and your fear and everything. So essentially movie reviewing, uh, but more so with the Lord, it, it helped me overcome my addiction to pornography. And so that's why I guess I'm so strongly about movie reviewers and you know I and excuse my language it pisses me off when people sit there and talk about you know movie reviewers and degrade them and say they need to go get a real freaking job and they need to get off the couch and they need to go do this and they need to stop ruining movies for people movie reviewers essentially changed my life again it gave me a newfound respect for movies to the point that to where I would even love to go to film school one day. I'm a little older, so I think it's a little too late for that. Um, but it made me have a newfound respect for the, the art of making movies. There's more to making movies than just sitting down, watching a movie, and liking it or not liking it. There's so much that goes into making a movie. And if you give these movie reviewers the chance, and I'm not saying that you have to but i'm saying if you give some of these movie reviewers a chance especially the the ones that do this professionally they will teach you things that you didn't even think were, were possible um and it would essentially change your life like it did mine so i owe collider movie talk uh beyond the trailer and a bunch of these um other youtubers um that i'm subscribed to that i watch on a daily basis um uh, i owe them a big gratitude of debt um, because again, they kept my mind distracted and focused, and now I have a newfound passion that I never knew that I had. I always loved film, but I never, you know, thought about doing movie reviews. I never thought about actually getting on YouTube and saying my thoughts and opinions on a particular movie. I would just mainly do that with my friends, and like John Campia said, that's essentially all they do at Collider is they sit down and they talk about movies with their friends as they're. You know, sitting on the couch saying, well, this is what I thought about the film. What did you think about the film? Well, these are my negatives on the film. What are your negatives on the film? So, again, in that regard, uh, to everyone at the Collider Movie Talk, again, at Beyond the Trailer, and a lot of these other YouTubers that I'm subscribed to, Geekdom 101, uh, Unreal uh, Gaming, Unreal ENT Gaming, uh, all of you, thank you all so much because not only do you do YouTube content, and do movie reviews and commentaries and things but you guys essentially changed my life because before i got into youtube and i had nothing to distract my mind from from my addiction and and satan was using that to his to his playground and now i'm able to take my love for movies and apply that to the students that i have to serve because what is one of the things that we universally like besides music it's movies so now I'm able to go to movies with students and and talk to them and and tell them, well, this is what's going on with the inner workings of this movie, and I can tell you whether or not this film is going to be able to get a sequel, depending on how it does in the box office, and this is what the critics give it, and this is what the general fans are giving it. What do you think about it? It's just all kinds of things that I'm able to do now with students, friends, family. When it comes to that, and again, it just changed my life and. And that's why I say movie review has essentially changed my life and my, my outlook and my perspective on everything. 
and I, and I and again this was all God God had this written on his plan he knew that I had the inner passion for movies he knew that I I want I love talking about movies whether it be something horror based or it's something with comedy or action adventure he knew what I was into and so he used that as a way to get me away from my addiction and like I said it I haven't even had the thought really and since the end of January and here we are right in the middle of June so thank God thank God that he did what he did but again you know when people just you know degrade and talk about movie reviews and how they don't have a real job it kind of ticks me off and I take it a little personally because if it wasn't for movie reviewers and everything um, I don't necessarily know how I would have overcame and again all glory goes to God here he's the one that essentially was God in my mind but what would he have used because music wasn't working anymore music used to be a good distraction but it wasn't working anymore not as well as it used to and that's not saying that I'm not as passionate about music because I still love music and I still love recording music and I still love performing on stage don't get me wrong but that wasn't working I needed something else to keep my mind focused on so now I have multiple things like YouTube and movie reviewing, going to the movies often, recording music, writing music. Now I have all these different outlets that I can use to distract my mind from the devil's playground, essentially. So pretty much that's how movie reviews, movie reviewers. So that pretty much is how movie reviewers changed my life and my my perspective when it comes to life and it comes to movies. Um, again. It was all the glory goes to God, but he used movie reviewers as a way to reach out to me and show me that there is a life better than what I was living in. And again, to to all you movie reviewers out there, whether you're a big time movie reviewer or just an up and coming movie reviewer. Thank you so much for what you do. You keep on reviewing films, whether it's through rant videos, whether it's through analysis and breakdown videos, whether it's through Easter egg videos. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for so much for what you are doing for this generation because now we have the option to where we can pick and choose what movies want to go to based on professionalized reviewers because I do value other people's opinions, but I will get at the end of the day, it is my decision whether or not I go see a film. But thank you so much for what you do. But with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up this Testify Talks. Again, thank you so much for checking out this video. How have movie reviewers affected you? Have they affected you in a positive or a negative way? I'm curious to know. Post your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, if you like the... If you like the video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and comment as well. It really helps out the channel immensely. Also, if you want to get more videos like these Testify Talks, I do these, try to do these weekly, uh, usually on Tuesdays or Wednesdays um, and sometimes throughout the weekend. Subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date when I release new videos and everything. It would be really appreciated. But with that being said, guys, thank you again so much for checking out this video. I'm testified to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, saying peace out.